Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm bringing you episode 48 of my brand new Comic Stall series. This is a series where each and every week when I head down to my local comic shop and pick up all the new books I'm going to be getting that week, I show you guys everything I got and I tell you a little bit about every single issue. Here's the stack for this week. It's the last week of the year, the last new comic book day of 2021, and it was a pretty small one for me. But now that we've got this week's stack out of the bag, we gotta get this bag out of the way. All right, now that that's all over with, let's get right into this week's haul. Probably will be a pretty short video because I don't have too many issues this week, but we always start off with the most anticipated issue of the week. This week, that easily goes to Timeless, issue number one from Marvel Comics. Everyone has been looking forward to this one for months, ever since it was solicited. Usually, Marvel does put out some sort of one-shot or new series like this that's going to usher in the new year of Marvel Comics. This will be a preview of everything that's going to come in the next year, focusing around Kang, looking at the future of the Marvel Universe. Kang, of course, is like Marvel's biggest villain in the movies and the comics right now because they usually correspond with each other in different ways. In the last page of this though, I'll show it here on screen if I can uh, get it on the camera, we have this little preview. It says, Judgment Day is coming. And you can see on the bottom here, we have the logos for Avengers, X-Men, and Eternals. Also in this week's previews catalog that came out, it showed um, that little tag on the top of the March solicitations for those three ongoing series. Who knows who's gonna write or draw whatever event that is gonna be, whether it's actually going to be called Judgment Day or something else. I'm so excited for that. I think that is going to be awesome. I can't wait to read this. I'm sure you guys are excited too. We'll see what's coming in 2022 from Marvel. That's Timeless Issue Number 1, my most anticipated issue of the week. Next up from Marvel Comics this week, I'm giving this issue my award for the best creative team of the week. We've got Devil's Reign Issue Number 2. That's because it's written by Chip Zdarsky with art by Marco Cacchetto. They were the creative team on the ongoing Daredevil series that recently ended, and that led directly into Devil's Reign. I didn't read that run, but it still was a really good jumping on point with issue number one, and I really, really liked that first issue. I think it got some very positive reviews, and I completely agree with all of them. It was just a really good, like, kind of street-level Marvel event, kicking off this uh, brand new thing where Kingpin, who's currently the mayor of New York City, is deciding to outlaw superheroes. It's really spanning across a whole bunch of different corners of the city with the Fantastic Four, Ben Riley, Spider-Man, who we see on the cover here, and then this brand new team of Thunderbolts that have recently been hired to take down all these superheroes and contain them, put these like power dampeners on their neck and whatnot. This is a really great event so far. Only two issues deep, but we've got a bunch of tie-in miniseries rolling out in these upcoming months. We'll see how it progresses. That's Devil's Reign issue number two. Moving on with Marvel Comics this week, let's hop on over to the Spider-Man side of the Marvel Universe. First up, we've got The Amazing Spider-Man issue number 83. This is the newest installment of this Beyond Spider-Man story arc. This is chapter nine, um, and it's really going well so far. I actually haven't read an issue since I believe issue 79, because because I've been waiting for issue 80, which I'll get to in a second. I just got it this week, so I can finally get caught up on like the six or seven issues that I've missed out on since then. They're coming out so frequently, it's actually weekly, um, that if you miss out on one issue and takes a while to get it, you're gonna have a lot to read by the time you get a hold of it. This issue specifically, though, is especially exciting because it's written and drawn by Patrick Gleason. He has some really amazing artwork. He's done a really good job, in my opinion, on the issues of Amazing Spider-Man he's done so far, especially for this Beyond run. His writing skills, though, little bit up to the test. He hasn't written like anything that I know of, so that's The Amazing Spider-Man issue number 83. We'll see how Patrick Gleason does on writing and art. And like I said, I did get this older issue, Amazing Spider-Man issue 80. I'll just go over it quickly because most of you guys have probably already read this one. This is the second part of that little Craven two-issue story arc that they did a while back, written by Cody Ziegler, who's a pretty new writer to comics, but I thought that the first issue of that story arc, number 79, was actually really good. As you can see on the cover here by Arthur Adams, though, it's basically Ben Ryan versus Craven, fighting possibly for the first time. At least it's been a while since they fought. That's The Amazing Spider-Man issue 80. I can't wait to get caught up on Beyond, finally. And the final issue that I picked up from Marvel Comics this week, I told you it was a pretty small week. We've got The Death of Doctor Strange issue number four. This issue I'm giving my award for the best cover art of the week. It's done by Care Andrews, who has a really cool painted cover art style. He's doing the covers for this series though, and this one is really awesome, where we see this older version of Doctor Strange that's come into the present to investigate his murder on the cover there. That's basically the main idea behind this series so far. Um, we've got this older version of Doctor Strange from like the, you know, Stan Lee, Steve Ditko days. He's even drawn in like an older style, which I think is really cool by Lee 
Bet, the artist on this series. It is written by Jed McKay, um, but we've just got him and all of these other different magical superheroes uh, investigating Doctor Strange's death. It is a whole Marvel Universe event though, so we've got a whole bunch of tie-ins that have been rolling out recently. It's also centered around the Three Mothers, which are these brand new villains that were introduced a couple issues ago. The Three Mothers were already powerful enough. They were defeating all of these Avengers and the issues they've appeared in so far, but they're just trying to bring in this child into uh, onto Earth to cause even more destruction. Really good event so far, some great artwork, some great writing. We'll see how they wrap it up, and who knows who actually killed Doctor Strange. That has yet to be revealed. So that's the death of Doctor Strange, issue number four, best cover art of the week in my opinion. And to wrap up this week's new comics haul, the final issue that I got was from Image Comics. It was Stray Dogs Dog Days, issue number one. We've got a sweet cardstock cover on here. It's a $5 issue, and you get, I think, like 40 pages of content in here, which is really good for the price. Stray Dogs totally blew up when it came out, and it was pretty low print, so no one was expecting that to really happen. I really loved it, though. I didn't actually get the single issues, but I did get the collection when it came out, and I figured I liked it so much, I might as well get this little anthology two-issue miniseries they're putting out as a sequel. This is going to be sort of a prelude to the original series. I was looking inside. That seems to be what it is. It's basically looking at every single dog that was featured in the main Stray Dogs miniseries, and it's just their story of how they got captured by this man who basically murders their owners and then brings all of the dogs into the house. If you haven't read the original Stray Dogs, I definitely recommend picking up that trade paperback. It was a really, really good read in my opinion. We'll see what they do with this little prelude anthology, but I'm excited to read it. That's Stray Dogs Dog Days issue number one. All right, well, that's every single one of the brand new issues that I picked up this week. I want to know what you guys got, though. Let me know down in the comment section below. Which issue were you looking forward to the most this week? Or if you already read your issues, which one was your favorite? It's been a really good year for comics. Uh, I actually started this new comics haul series at the very beginning of the year, the first week of new comics this year, and I've done 48 episodes so far. That's pretty good. We're almost to 50. That'll be a big milestone. Thanks so much to everyone that's been watching and everyone who has supported the series so far. I really love making these videos. Look out for my top 10 comics of the year video, which I'll be putting out in these next couple days, probably on Friday. I'm really excited to put that one out and talk about the best comics that have come out of 2021. It's been a really good year for comics, honestly. There's been some really good things from Image, Marvel. Uh, people have said good things about DC, but I don't get them. So that pretty much wraps up this year of new comics hauls and this year of comics. If you liked the video or if you got some good information from it, make sure to hit that subscribe button. That's that big red button which is sitting right below this video. You can also hit that notifications bell which is sitting right next to it. You'll be notified every single time I post a new video if you don't want to miss any. So that's everything from me for today. Thank you so much for watching everyone. Bye guys. Happy New Year.